Hey guys, um, Tatiana Zadorn here with Dream Shoot Photography. So in today's tutorial, I will be uh, showing you guys how to edit overexposed, um, or I'm sorry, backlit images. And so as you can see, this is the raw image. This was shot with an 85 millimeter 1.2 lens. So um, for the most part, this is what they end up looking like. Just really washed out and overexposed. So um, I will be bringing back all the detail and making it look like this. So because I absolutely love backlit images, I think they look amazing. But when they come out like this, then sometimes that can be a little bit overwhelming. Um, but this is a super easy fix, especially if you're a beginner. Um, this is going to be really easy to learn. Um, so I'm going to use this photo here. This is just a preset that I applied that gave it that kind of organic look. So when you um, when you zoom it in, it's still it's a still washed out image. So the preset didn't fix anything, which I don't expect it to. So this is the image we're going to work on. Um, so basically, what you want to do is you want to open this image in Camera Raw, and so you want to go to Filter, Camera Raw, Filter. And so you have this screen. This is the screen that when you when you open up a new image, this is what comes up. So this is where I, I work a lot. Um, so what I did is I'm going to bump up the contrast like really high. Um, I mean, normally I'd have it at about 50 or so. But since we're on the screen here and I want to make sure you see what I'm doing, I'm going to really max it out. Um, highlights, I don't really touch the highlights because we have plenty of highlights in this photo. Um, blacks, what you want to do is bump it down. You don't want to do too far because that, that just looks bad. Um, you want to keep it natural, so you just want to bump it down so it brings back all the um, overexposed areas. Shadows, also you want to bump up bump down your shadows as well and then this is the big one clarity I normally do not add clarity on any of my images um, because I do not like the look of it but in this case because we're trying to bring all that texture back in the skin and make it look sharper we're gonna bump up the clarity so as you can see huge difference the higher I go the more you can see the model and so I'll probably keep it right about there so you guys can see. And then, yeah, as far as like vibrance and all that, it just depends how vibrant you want your images or not. It's that's all per personal preference. Um, over here, I, I normally don't really work in this space here. I don't add luminance or any of that to my um, images. Again, that's all personal preference. Um, you do want to sharpen your images just a tad, but again, I use I, there's a different way that I actually sharpen my images, um, which I will do a whole separate tutorial on that in a different video. So then you just click OK. And there you have it. So this is the original image. This is the edited one. So that one's just a little bit darker. So what you can do is add more contrast. So you can just click this uh, little icon on the bottom, brightness contrast, and then just bump it up a little bit. So right about there. Um, and that's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So it's a really easy fix. You really didn't do, you don't have to do really a whole lot to fix that. So um, the one other thing is her hat here, the rim of her hat. It is very overexposed. I do like that kind of look in a way, but if you look up a little bit closer, you can see there's like a red line. There's a way to actually get rid of that, and I'll... Again, I'll show you guys that in a separate video. So that's pretty much it. That's all there's to it. This is just the most simple and easiest way to do it. Um, this is not the only way to do it, but I, you know, if you're a beginner, you want it to be 
you want Photoshop to be as simple as it possibly can with making the images look really, really good and professional. So um, if you liked this uh, video, give it a thumbs up and also leave in the comments below um, what else you would like to see in my future videos and make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.